How you doing? We're Amber here with Ginger and the Desert Creations. I decided that I want to make, well, several sunrises, sunsets, whatever you want to call them. Um, so let's start with one today. <laughs> let's go paint! We just start off with a bit of swiping. Dunk the whole thing, the whole back, and swipe the sun kind of just out, should kind of go just all the way up here and sort of out. Pushing a lot of that paint off because there is just a lot of it. It's the way you get good color mixing, but there is a lot. And then push it out, kind of all the way. thinking that we're really going to be having water here, so I'm just going to scrape. Touched it a little bit at that edge. That's kind of unfortunate there. A little streaky. I'm gonna come in and kind of spread this a little bit more. To kind of blend the colors a little better and have it be a little less just boxy, blocky white. Got the edge stuck there. There we go. It's going interesting. A little bit of silvery coming all the way out. There we go. I'm going to cut in here, just kind of scrape, because I'm planning on putting water around that level. And it's just kind of spreading down where I don't want it. more white than I would like hanging out right here. Would you believe I got too much blue there? <laughs> Tiny. Very light. Most of the magenta is getting cast off. I want to put a small bead because I don't like what that line is doing. this. Okay. Now coming back this way. Nope, didn't clean it off well enough.
I'm just cutting the edge and kind of dragging Okay, I'm going to try to add the water and see how much we like it. Once again, completely coated with white. Then we try to do basically drag it down and off. We don't want that. Don't want the magenta in my water, but I don't want too much paint in this area either, because the last one dried very, very textured. And although I like the effect, I feel like I would have liked it better if it hadn't been excessively textured. So I'm just kind of trying to walk and mix. Basically walking all that paint down off the bottom edge of the canvas. Canvas. Yeah, you know how I love calling it a canvas. Even though it isn't. I have a problem. Keep trying to somehow reveal that magenta that made it down into the water. He's not good. Stop it. Can you see that I'm changing my mind as I go along? Scrape that a little too well.
And we take our little card here. And we kind of just grab the color that's up there and drag it down to create the effect of the light playing across the water. Be careful coming back up to this area because you can drag too much of the blue up into the blue of the ocean, up into the sky, and it will look funny. There we go. That's more like I wanted. Need to have a good reflection of that sun in the water. Just do. It's a roll. So saith I. Give it a chance to have a little bit of sparklies for the yellow in there too. I am going to tempt fate a little bit. This looks odd. I just full on grabbed some of that canary yellow. Uh oh. Well, that didn't work out. Now I did it. Nope. Poor, baby, poor. <laughs> Okay, that's interesting. Okay, playing with a little bit more precision, hopefully. Touch of white. And let's try to swipe this out in a way that doesn't make our sun bigger. 
doesn't give us a ton, a ton of white. And doesn't greatly muddy things up. Fix that little section right there. Uh -oh. That's a problem. That's a piece of something that is sitting there. I do not like. Okay. Is that a lump in my sun? No lumps in the sun. We don't want a lumpy sun.
think that's about as good as it is going to get. If I fiddle with it anymore, I'm going to screw something up. I just know it. Kiss it with fire. And come down and see it. Not sure I can do this without the strobe. Let's do extreme close-up. Have a look at all of that going on there. Very, 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 isn't it? <laughs> Got a lot going on. Big old sun for a big old sunrise. So there it is. Stay tuned for the very result. Here's another lackluster product of August efforts. I like little bits of this. The ocean turned out fantastic, and it's not textured like the last one. So I'd like to repeat that. That's wonderful. But I tried to make a more defined sun because I didn't like the way that it spread all across the sky so much in uh, At World's End. But I dislike this a lot more I found the there's yeah it just the sky did not go well at all and yeah I don't know I if I had to rate this one I'm somewhere in the 60s and it will be painted over at some point in the near future but take a look there is some good to it I cannot Cannot pretend that there isn't, but there isn't enough good to it to make me want to, you know, keep it and display it and whatnot. So, yeah, this is just some sunrise and I'm going to paint over. If you want to geek out with me on color, then uh, stay tuned after the fade. If not, we'll see you next Sunday. Thanks for watching and comment, like, and subscribe. Bye-bye. That moment when you realize, for whatever reason, you weren't recording. We have Artislop Vermilion Cream Sickled Up with Titanium White. Uh, Montmartre Fluorescent Orange is also Cream Sickled. That is the this color. Artislop Magenta. It's slightly Cream Sickled, but not much. Arteza Pearl Canary. Creative Inspirations Lemon Yellow, Amsterdam Quinacridone Rose, Deco Art Deep Sapphire, Deco Art Pearl Pebio Silver, Deco Art Pearl Sapphire, Arteza Pearl Turquoise, Liquitex Basics Light Blue Violet. So hopefully some of the blue sky will show up as blue sky. It very rarely does, but you know, cross your fingers. And Amsterdam Persian Rose because I occasionally like a rose. And our swipe color is the, the Amsterdam Titanium Wait, as always, because it does wonderful, wonderful things.